Hey guys, it does come with instructions. <laughs> I should have looked a little bit more in the box and tech support and instructions. So, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Look what I have here. So, this was sent to me as a sample. It's not a promotional video, it's a sample. And if you guys wanna send me samples out there, definitely just send me the sample. You guys want to promote something on this channel definitely send me an email I haven't actually gone through or took sponsorship seriously on this channel mostly because of all the scams that exist it's very hard for me to figure out which requests are valid and which are scammy but I am seriously considering doing sponsorships and promotions and pretty much putting samples reviews of samples on my channel if you guys are looking for somebody to sponsor your product or send me a review just to review it definitely send me an email and I will get back in contact with you but what we have here is a universal TPMS relearn tool. It's the U508 model, and this is manufactured by OBD Resource Electronics Company. And the box really is that simple. Made in China. But this is what it looks like, guys. This is an unboxing and a review. And I actually checked out this product. Holy crap, that's... Anyway, this is what it looks like. I don't, I don't, there's no instructions for it, but if you guys do a search on YouTube or even on eBay, Anybody who's selling this on eBay and Amazon, uh, there are videos up on how to use it. So that's better than directions. And it's very simple. There's one button. And you guys will need to put in a battery. I believe it's a nine, one of these square block nine volt batteries. Oh, sorry guys. Why isn't this? Give me a sec, okay? Let me just open up the battery door. Okay, just got it open. Tight is good, guys. Tight is good. You know, because... Tight is good because I've seen a lot of these battery doors just swing open. Okay, there you go. I'm doing it with one hand, so... It's very difficult with one hand. Doing it with one hand is very difficult. All right, so we have instructions here. Ensure that the vehicle is in TPMS learning mode and operate in accordance with the maintenance procedures. Hold uh, this EL5048 against the sidewall of the tire near the tire valve. Depress learn button while holding. So it's, it's pretty simple. It's very simple. You put a battery in. And if you guys changed up the TPMS sensor. And I want to I tell you guys this. I don't think Toyota... Is including is included with one of the manufacturers uh, as far as this uh, uh, as far as this functioning with the relearn procedure for Toyotas or any vehicle any other vehicle that you would have to put in, uh, that you would have to plug an OBD to use the OBD to port and some kind of tool with that where you need to get inside the computer and have it uh, and program it through a computer using the OBD2 port. And, and I know Toyotas are finicky about that. They are, they are the only ones that I know. There, there might be a couple of them out there, other ones out there that actually does that, but these wireless ones you can't use on this. But good thing, if you guys have any other manufacturer, and there are a ton of those, all right, 
Mercedes Benz, I'm surprised, was included in the list. Nissan, Ford, Chevy, all the major car manufacturers, you can definitely use this. And there are probably 90% of the car manufacturers out there, Toyota not included, where you could actually, if you guys change the TPMS to a TPMS module sensor on your tire, you could actually use this. So good news. All right, 90% of the people who have, you know, vehicles that are not Toyotas, you guys could use this. But for Toyotas, you, the Quick Set X is the go-to for me because I have two Toyota vehicles, a Prius and a an, an Highlander Hybrid, and that's the way. That's the way they work. So anyway. Uh, anyway, it's, it's very simple. If you guys want to watch a video on, on how to do it, it's very simple. You have to ensure the vehicle is in TPMS learning mode. And, and, the, and depending on which vehicle you have, you got to set it in TPMS learning mode. And apparently the newer vehicles have that mode because I don't think... I don't think the older vehicles have that mode, even with the with this sensor. All right. Now, basically, the way this works is, if I had a battery in here. All right. Imagine if I had a battery in here. I don't have a nine volt battery right now, but okay. Just want to let you guys know that this is a thirty dollar tool. All right, and if it, it, it's maybe a bit cheaper. If you guys can find eBay for a lot cheaper. So anyway, I just want to let you guys know that if you guys hate that TPMS little symbol, you guys hate this, the lights on the dash as much as I do, which I do. I hate the lights on the dash. When that TPMS light comes on, I need to immediately take that light off. Yeah, I just cannot have it on the dash. I know a lot of people put tape over it and that's what a lot of people say oh i don't need to do anything i just don't need to put tape over it i know right it's just a it's, it's just absolutely an annoying thing to me and i don't like putting tape on my dash but this is the this is a this is a quick go-to a cheap go-to because a lot of the tpms sensors are kind of expensive this is very 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 simple to use extremely simple to use all right, and and if I had any other vehicles besides Toyotas, if I had like a BMW, a Mercedes, and there's about like virtually every other manufacturer that this would work on Ford, Chevy, Ford, Chevy, whatever, whatever else is out there, Honda, Nissan, Kias, Hyundai, you know, whatever, whatever else, Subaru, I saw on the list, Buick. Whatever is out there, if you guys have one of these cars with TPMS and you guys change out TPMS, you guys can use this on that, on those vehicles, on those vehicles, okay? So basically, here's the scenario. You guys changed up the TPMS sensor on your vehicle. Your car is, is, is still trying to read the old sensor and you guys need to take that light off the dash because that tire light, the TPMS sensor light, will be on your dash because of it. Because computer computer is reading that there is only three tires on the car, or it's not picking up the other sensor. Right in that situation, after you change down, you get the light on this on the dash, and and you want to get that off, and you want to make sure that the computer reads the. The, the, the tire or the tires that the sensor was changed out here's what you do you buy one of these all right it's it's around thirty dollars maybe a bit less you put a battery in here all right if you guys will have one of the cars where you guys can set do a setting on one of these these things do a setting where you guys set it to TPMS learning mode get it in TPMS in learning mode all right, and you guys press that TPMS learning mode so that it's in learning mode. What you guys do is, you guys want to do is, when you guys do that, you guys want to press it, press this. All right, and your car is gonna honk, and once it honks, it means that it's 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 in the system. It's in the system. All right, you want to do this again. 
right next to the tire. You want to do it all four tires, guys. You want to do it off all four tires. What you guys doing all four tires? And here's the good thing about it: when it honks, when your car honks, it's gonna it's gonna do. The, it, you press it until your car honks. Once it honks, it means that it's it the, the computer has picked up on the sensor. You do an each tire bam honk, bam honk, bam honk, bam honk, bam. All right, you get back into your car and guess what? The TPMS light is off. You guys don't do have to do anything else. The TPMS light is off. You're gonna get a whole new set of number or numbers for the sensor that was replaced. And it's as simple as that. One, two, three. You guys cannot get any more simpler than that. Because if you guys have seen any of my TPMS video, particularly on Toyotas, uh, they are. It, it's very, very, you know, relatively speaking, relatively to this, it's very, very, very complicated as far as Toyota is concerned or any other manufacturer that you need to use, plug into the OBD T, OBD two port with a uh, with a TPMS tool and a laptop because I use a laptop but I did figure out after a year and a half of just on and off trying to figure out what the you know how to go about programming reprogramming TPM and new new TPMS sensors in Toyota's I figure it out. Watch my video, guys. Watch my video. Just put in quick set X. All right. I use that with a tablet. But let me uh, go back to this. I'm actually going off uh, topic right now. But one button, this actually tells you whether you, you the battery is low, I think. This does not come out, come come with instructions. So I did not get do a thorough uh, take on 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 what else this does. I don't know whether this actually tells you the battery is low or wh whether it actually checks your car's battery. I I don't know. But you guys can look at you guys can uh, look at that yourself. Very simple, one button. Very 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 simple. If you guys are looking for something that's simple and easy and to take that TPMS light off your dash. Of like 90% of car manufacturer that's out there, not Toyota, <laughs> not Toyota, but 90% of if, if you guys have a car where you guys don't need to plug in a scan to through your OBD2 slot, then this is for you guys. It's less than $30. Check it out. I might there might be a link in 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 my in my comments section, but check it out, guys. All right. I uh, hope this has helped you guys out with, uh, you know, any of your TPMS issues. If you guys are looking for something to, 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 you guys know what this is about. Anyway, um, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Any comments on, on this or any other TPMS issues, this product or any other TPMS issues, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please uh, leave a comment with your experiences with this or any other tpms tool guys okay um please give me a thumbs up please subscribe comment all that good stuff guys take care